oogenesis the process of formation of a mature female gamete the ovum is called oogenesis this process is initiated during the embryonic development stage oogenesis consists of three phases multiplication phase growth phase and maturation phase during multiplication phase the cells of germinal epithelium of fetal ovary undergo mitotic division producing undifferentiated diploid cells called oogonia gamete mother cells some of these cells grow and becomes the primary oocyte which is diploid meiosis begins in the primary oocytes soon after their formation but the division process gets arrested and oocyte remains in the meiotic prophase one stage each primary oocyte then gets surrounded by a layer of granulosa cells which are derived from the germinal epithelium lining the ovary the structure thus formed is called the primary follicle with the onset of puberty the primary oocyte becomes larger in size more layers of granulosa cells surround the primary follicle and a layer or theca is formed around it such a structure is called secondary follicle each secondary follicle then develops a fluid filled cavity termed antrum inside it the theca around the diploid primary oocyte divides into inner theca and outer theca thus a secondary follicle transforms into a tertiary follicle the fully grown primary oocyte inside the tertiary follicle completes its first meiotic division and produces two haploid daughter cells the larger cell is known as the secondary oocyte or ovum the other cell is extremely small and called as the first polar body both the cells have haploid number of chromosomes the secondary oocyte develops a membrane zona pellucida around it thus the tertiary follicle becomes a mature graafian follicle the graafian follicle ruptures and releases the secondary oocyte or ovum by a process called ovulation the second meiotic division of the secondary oocyte or ovum occurs only at the time of fertilization in the fallopian tube of the female during fertilization the secondary oocyte unequally divides its cytoplasm which results in production of a large haploid cell the ooted with a large quantity of cytoplasm and a very small haploid cell the second polar body at the same time the first polar body also divides into two polar bodies thus a primary oocyte forms one haploid ooted and three haploid polar bodies